Hey guys, my name is Prove Attitude, and welcome to my very first review. I'm going to start off this adventure by reviewing some of the matches of the International East Qualifier Tournament, which granted a spot in the International Dota 2 Tournament. This is game one between Tong Fu and Ice in the first round, duking it out for that spot. Let's see how the game went. Ice started out their bot lane with an aggressive tri lane against Tong Fu's bounty hunter. The support heroes did a great job buying and placing down those wards, ensuring a quick first blood. But they didn't stop there. They even went as far as tower diving to ensure that they kept the bounty hunter down. Nobody TP'd in to try and help him, and he easily fell to the many nukes of ice. Now, Ice got off to a decent start. We can see that they're winning in total gold earned at this point. But Tong Fu is starting to pull themselves together, and I'm sure having that Queen of Pain 2-1 and the Night Sucker 2-0 is giving them a nice boost of confidence going into mid-game. The Ice trialing continued to be aggressive, and Slar pushed way too far into the Dire's base, which gave Tong Fu an opportunity to avenge their bounty hunter ally. Unfortunately for Ice, they just got too outnumbered this time, and their escape route was blocked off by Furion. Sadly, Ice's trailing didn't actually learn their lesson in the previous clip. They pushed way too far again, with so many heroes missing, again! Also, check out that track. It's pretty significant. At level 1, track gives 50 bonus gold to allies around the target when it dies. That's a lot of extra gold. Let's check it out. So this is the goal difference before the fight, and this is the goal difference after that fight. Wow, 2.5k gold. That's quite a bit. Let's see how Tong Fu rolls with this momentum. Well, they seem to have their heroes in the right place at the right time a lot, and they're good at getting everybody gathered around for the track bonus too. And likewise, Ice continued their teamwork by of course picking on the bounty hunter. A kill's a kill, but they're clearly falling behind at this point. However, despite that, they still continued to put a lot of effort into making a comeback when Tong Fu put some pressure on their towers. Blink daggers are awesome, especially on Slardar and especially for chasing down fleeing heroes. This was only a small victory for Ice because they are still quite a ways behind. It's nothing special, but I chose this clip because the timing of the skills used here were quite amazing. The Orchid and then the power shot firing off right as she could blink was pretty satisfying considering I was rooting for the underdog. Meanwhile, as they were killing Queen of Pain, the rest of the Ice team tried to take a tower. I liked Queen of Pain's buyback. It wasn't a rage buyback, but more like a fuck you just because buyback. Tai took enough damage because his Kraken shell removed the track, so at least Tong Fu didn't get 400 extra gold from him. They did get it off the less track though. This entire fight was just really bad for Ice, and that track is going to give some more gold to Tong Fu. I mean, this has happened to all of us, where your team just runs in one by one trying to save the person who previously ran in. It sucks. To top that off, Ty didn't even get his ult off before he died. It's safe to say they just got outplayed here and wasn't as together as Tong Fu was. Of course, third time's a charm, so let's give a little bit more gold to Tong Fu before we check the gold status. Such a huge lead in total gold earned. And with that, they go to fight their worthy adversary. Who gets the Aegis is questionable between Queen of Pain and Ice Stalker, but Tong Fu opted to give it to their Queen of Pain. Ice fought long and hard, but they just couldn't pull out a win. This last battle took a little bit, but that's how Tong Fu needed it to go. While all the fighting was going on in mid, the Dire Creeps were taking out Raxes on bottom. So even if they somehow lost this fight, they'd surely be okay with buybacks and having a Rax advantage. All in all, I liked the way Ice played their tri lane, but eventually just couldn't push them into late game against the Queen of Pain and a Night Stalker. Even though they shut down Bounty Hunter early on, his track still made a significant difference in this game. On top of that, Tong Fu just seemed to really have it together, perhaps led by a good captain, better players, or outpicking Ice. Whatever it was, these guys must have been hella excited having a win under their belt. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and be sure to check out game two between these teams. Feel free to leave me any suggestions or compliments. And of course, you should probably subscribe. Just saying. I am Prove Attitude and here is your Thunder Blunder.